What's up everybody? Before we start this video, don't forget to follow me on Roblox and don't forget to hit that bell and that subscribe button. Let's get into the video. Hello YouTube, it's me Kamari and I'm back again with another wonderful video. And today I'm going to be showing y'all how I make my Adopt Me thumbnails. So y'all probably like, okay, number one, your thumbnails not even that good. Don't worry, there's still some space for improvement. It's still some space for improvement but um so i've been trying to make a lot of adopt me videos lately so this is what i'm gonna do be doing for y'all a lot more often um i don't know what y'all want i don't know if y'all want to call again for the adopt me videos but you know let's get into it so right now i'm just trying to find an area to do the video and i'm gonna change it to a adult because when you are an adult you actually you when you're taking a picture of where you want your back what you want your background to be it actually looks way better so i'm gonna go over here by this little dragon house or whatever and i've never even seen this in the game how so i'm gonna just take little girl move out the way uh all up in the way Ooh. so i'm gonna that's probably her house too since she called quote unquote dragon girl okay now she wanted to sit here and be aggravating so right now i'm gonna take a picture and uh, oh, I'm gonna screenshot this little area, and this is gonna be my background. All right, so this is gonna be my background. Let's go to Pick Monkey. All right, so what you wanna search, type in is Pick Monkey. When you get the Pick Monkey, click on the first one, the first one, the official site, and click on Try New Pick Monkey. All right, with it low, click on See All Blanks. All right, scroll down and click on See All Blanks. Okay, when you click on that, scroll down, you want to find YouTube. Okay, when you find YouTube, go to YouTube thumbnail 1280 by 720. Press create. Oh, okay, next, when that loads, um, you want to click on add an image, click on computer, and then you want to add in that background picture that, you, that I just took. So I'm inserting that right now insert it mm -hmm. bada bang bada boom right there insert it okay and now i'm gonna go to effects and then go to basic and then go to soften and then that should blur it okay i don't want the blur to be too much just a little bit just a little bit for a little background and then you want to click on apply okay when you click on apply you want to go to text click on add text okay and now i'm going to click on this box and now I'm going to type in my text how I make my Adopt Me thumbnails, question mark. All right. And now I want to change the color. I want to highlight it and then change the color to white. Okay. And then I want to change the font to my recently used font, which is Impact. So we did that. And then I'm going to go to Effects. Go to the Effects tab. Click on Drop Shadow okay and then you want to go to outline and i want to change the color of the outline to black and then i want to make the outline thickness smaller so i scale it down to four and then i make the text uh really big so that it could just fill up the whole picture and then i want to align it okay when you see that little cross looking thing i mean it's in the middle perfectly in the middle then i want to flatten all the layers okay now it's just one big layer there's no well one big picture and there's no layers and now i'm about to open up um light shot i'm actually using light shot to um to uh take the picture because on pick monkey you have to have a free trial and who got money to pay for that no because you can do it for free so why not so you want to get light shot and i'm gonna put it in the link in the description all right and now we did it i hope y'all enjoyed this little video how i make my adopt me thumbnails and i guarantee you i'm gonna put this thumbnail as the this video thumbnail